welcome back from this tutorial we will start part modeling so before going to part modeling we have to set working directory where we want to save our data so set working directory so here you can create your own by right click new folder give the name then ok and that will act as a, your working directory then say ok so what your files are created those files will be saved in this working directory here so start with new then select part here then give the name what your name you want to give to the part file then remove this def use default template if you want to work in inches then you can keep this tick if you want to work in mm then remove this tick say ok then select the template if you want to you work in mm then select mm newton second mmns if you want to inch, work in inch then select in lbs that is inch pound second so i want to work in mm so mmns part solid then ok so this part environment is started so here you have three planes are ready made there then coordinate system is there so first you have to choose the plane on which plane you want to work suppose i want to work on top plane then click here for sketcher environment sketch then sketch then create one object suppose i want to create a rectangle around this center point so for that first i have to put some center li center lines then or a press roller to come out then select rectangle click first point go on the right side once this red arrow appears that means it is symmetric around that axis go vertical again this red arrows are appeared so it it will be symmetric around center click the point press roller to come out give the dimension whatever you want then say done then press roller to do orbit operation now this red is a rectangle that we have created we want to convert this red rectangle into 3d object for that you can use this extrude tool extrude here you can give the thickness of that plate here also you can give that thickness so there are uh, different options are available here first is extrude as solid that means this object is solid here by clicking on these specs you can see the preview how that object will look like after creation so to cancel that preview you have to click back on the specs so first option is extrude as solid then if you want a surface model then click this second button extrude as surface so it will create a surface model then suppose uh, surface is it is a plane without a thickness if you want to give a thickness then again click back to extrude as solid and select this thicken sketch so here you can give the thickness whatever thickness you want that you can give then again you can control the direction also suppose if i view the top view now here you can see the thickness has been given inside the sketch from here you can control the direction whether you want it outside or 50 50 around the center uh, center line or inside that you can control from here so again here you can do the zoom fit to view the complete model i want to extrude as a solid so uh, i don't want this th thickened sketch i will cancel that and i will say done so this plate is created then suppose i want to work on the top surface then first select the solid then select the surface once it once it becomes pink then click on the sketch so you now you are working on that plane again sketch then suppose i want to create a rectangle with respect to this corner so you have to take the references for that you have to go to sketch references then click on the line for which you want to add the references then close then with this reference i want to create a rectangle rectangle tool press roller to come out and here you can give the dimensions say done then again extrude to give the height whatever height you want that you can give from here then say done same way i want to create a suppose hole here rectangular hole inside again i will select the solid then the surface on which i want to work 
then say sketch then sketch then around center i want to create therefore i am creating this center line so that i can create a symmetric rectangle so this rectangle has been created then say done give the dimension say done then say extrude now i want to cut so from here i can change the direction i want to go downward then for removing the material there is a option is there remove material so these two arrows are there one is for direction for extrude and one one direction is for from which side you want to remove the material inside or outside then preview it is alright said done so in this way you can create so suppose i want to create on vertical surface then select the solid then select the surface again sketch a roller press roller then suppose i want to create a circular part here then done then say extrude give the length and done so in this way you can work on any surface you want and uh, here you you can view that the history has been created for each and every step so all the sketches are there and extrudes are there so corresponding part uh, corresponding element will become red in the main model so wherever you click that will become red there so in this way you can ch make changes to any of the data by just right click on the if i want to make changes to sketch one right click and select edit definition so again sketcher will open and here you can make the changes and again say done so as per that your model will be updated so to anything you can make the changes suppose i want to make changes to extrude just right click the extrude and say edit definition and give the thickness whatever you want suppose i want to increase the thickness just say done so in this way you can make the changes for this circle actually that reference was not added therefore it has came outside so we can add the references to that circular part so edit definition then sketch the take the reference so i want to put it with respect to this line so sketch references and click on this vertical line close then add the dimension from this line i want the center to be around this so what is the dimension that you have to add so in this way you can make the changes so it's for that your model will be updated then next thing uh, if you want to delete anything just right click and say delete so any feature or sketch you can delete very easily if i delete the original sketch complete model will be deleted suppose i want to create some model on the front so again i will say sketch then to do pan here you have to hold down the shift and press roller and then you have to do the pan so for panning you have to hold down the shift and the roller and you have to drag the mouse so here i want to create one more model suppose so i will create the sketch for that So this model has been created. Press roller to come out, then done. Then orbit, then extrude. So in this extrude, some more options are here are available. So this is extrude on both side of sketch plane by half. So if you want to extrude by half distance on both side of the sketch, then you have to use this option. Suppose I said by 200. and suppose if you want to extrude on one side by other distance and other side by other distance then you have to say the here blind and for other direction you have to go to option uh, select here side to then give the blind and put the distance by what distance you want to extrude on the other side in this way you can extrude differently on both side again suppose i want to work on this internal surface so select the solid select the surface then sketch then sketch then create the object suppose i want to create a circular object so done so it has created there then again extrude so in this uh, some more options are available the next is extrude up to next surface so that will thus your object will be extruded up to the next surface 
so in this way also you can specify the depth with respect to other object so when you changes the design it, the length will updated automatically so you don't have to worry about that then next is extrude to intersect with all surfaces so it will go up to last surface after that next option is extrude to intersect with selected surface so you can select any surface so it will extrude up to that surface and then next is last is extrude to selected point curve plane and surface so you can choose any point you can choose any line sir you can choose any surface so it will be extruded up to that surface so in this way this lecture is completed thanks for joining we will stop here